Guys, Mr. Light is here with Digital Devil Saga. You might be wondering, where the heck am I? I'm in the Vanguard's base, and I'm on the second basement, over here on the top left corner. Why am I here? Well, it's actually because I have I started there at the entrance, made my way through to the staircase in the center there. This way. Then go past the red wall, down this staircase right there, and then to the this way. There is a boss in this room. I've set my skills ready. Let's go fighting. It's one of four optional bosses that we're going to be taking on. Hopefully I can do them all in one episode if I cut off a lot of the uh, traveling. Oh uh, dear. She's angry. So, let's see what we got here today, eh? Start with Makakaja. Twice. And we'll also have Fire Drain. Well, I guess this boss is a fire type. And actually doesn't have very good uh, starting spells, guaranteed. Right, Naga Cash is at full. That's good. Fire Drain. Now, is she going to use the Kaja? No, she's doing that. Right, well, in this case, I'm going to start by doing Boo Boo Dive. She's not weak to it, but it does do a lot of damage compared to other skills. And I also want Fire Drain again. Wow, you are not doing a very good job at this. Boo Fire Drain! Oh, we've angered her! What's she gonna do now? Power Wave! Okay, that's a physical based attack. Twice! And now she's buffing a physical attack. Well, okay. Honestly, I'm not that concerned. Heal ourselves up. And fire drain again. Just to be on the safe side. Um Wow. Okay. You've suddenly got a lot of buff there, and I'm not gonna let you have that. Boo boo dying? Fire Drain again! I keep this up obviously because she specializes in fire. But I'd rather not, uh... Well, I see her, but for some reason she's doing a lot of physical... Oh, flip! That's not good. Oh, that is really not good! What the heck?! Gale! Oh, you flipping pest! Oh, you're gonna pay for that! Ah, I got it. I did not count on that. That is rather awkward. Um, pass the turn. Salvation. Right, that was actually really uncalled for. Oh, so now you're increasing your magic. Yeah, I gave him the fire resist to give him extra help in this fight. Oh, that's just getting rid of your buff. Okay, fire drain. Oh, now she's going to be doing even bigger fire moves, but... I don't think she's going to do that because we got fire drain on. 
Oh, jeez. Okay, uh... Foo Foo Dine with you. Need armor with you. And use Foo Foo Dine with you. Let's see if you can do even more damage to her. Yep, here we go. Moragi Dine, but it's not as bad as being hit with her physical attack. Seriously, that's not as bad. Oh, 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 oh. You're gonna have a problem now. Right. Darn it! I'm sorry, I wasn't thinking straight then. But heck, that does a lot of damage. But I really need the flipping heal. Like seriously, look at this. Our health is looking pretty low. I use salvation with Argilla, that'll solve my problem. Salvation! Fully heals and removes all that is the helmet. Best healing spell in the game. Okay, whatever. Who's who dying? Meteor armor. Who's who dying? Oh, she should now be on the final part of her fight. She skips the turn, but hopefully now we've done enough to finish her off. Is this gonna win us the fight? No. HPP? <laughs> what the? Actual heck was that? Uh. Okay. Um. She just took all that health like that. You know, I've never seen her do that before. Ah. Right. Uh, hang on. Hang on a second. Hang on a blooming second. Let me just do this a second. Revival gem. Right, so apparently that's a, not a good thing at all. He's buffing even more. Right, um, the Kaja you. Okay. Debility. Salvation. Oh, she's going to do HP Thief again. Uh huh. Foo Foo Dine. Oh, yes. Hang on. Now we might be able to finish you off this turn. Can you do it, Argilla? No, you cannot. Ah. This could be bad. Check that. Oh, wow, sir. I can't believe you just did that. You actually just dodged a flipping killing move. Okay. Go do it again now. Here we go. And we finish you off this time. Third time's the job. There we go. The first of the optional bosses is beat. Flipping few, that was not easy. 
Alright, let's get our stats up to 51. And we get the Crimson Orb. Right. That was the first of the bosses we have to fight. There are three more. And I'll cut the video off here. And I'll come back when I've reached the location of the next boss. So, I'm back in a moment, guys. And we're back for the next super boss. Or at least the next, um, optional boss. We are in Manipura, the Maribel base. There's the entrance. You just go all the way to the left. And it's right to the left. All the way through. I've set my skills. Let's go take him out. Oh boy, I remember this one. Okay, you're going down, mate. Right, this guy. Now, the thing about him, he does in fact have high counter. So don't even bother with um, physical attack. It's best to use magic attacks against this guy, but don't use force. This guy is pretty tough when it comes to force. I may explain this actually. You know the last boss was a fire element? This boss is a force element. If you use an element that they drain, like that, if you use force against this guy, a fire against the previous one, they get a 10 times magic boost. So the next time they use a magic attack, it is going to hurt. Alright, we got ourselves up. Yeah, in these bosses, don't use the element they're strong against, or you will flipping regret it. Here we go. Huggy nine. Uh, back and catch you again. And then... Mine charge is full. Last word. Almighty base. Okay, he's got some really nasty physical attacks, as you can see. Okay, alright then. Let's use Debilitate on him for now. Read your armor. And let's mind charge our Jilla. Okay. Dock wave. I'm not that concerned about that. What the heck ever. Debilitate again. Okay. Then we'll use Matsukaja again. And my guy's full. This is going to hurt. Oh wow, that's a lot of damage. This guy doesn't stand in chance. Oh boy, here we go. Wait, what? That did. Okay, I'm gonna be honest, that didn't make any sense. Why use that, a physical increaser? When you're about to use a magic, when you charge for a magic attack. That's annoying. Thankfully, it's only for one attack. Oh, here comes Zandine. Okay, whatever. Let's set this up again. Need your armor. Charge is set. Last word. Arakaja. Oh, he's removed our buffs now. 
You actually have rage? Oh, flip. Yes, another thing this guy can do. Flipping Executioner. Let's say this guy's armed and dangerous. Are you dying? Oh. Okay, we can actually finish him off soon. Uh oh. Uh oh, this can't be good. Well, that's not very concerning. Hadja. Meteor armor. Mindshot. Last word. Oh, dearie me. Uh oh. Oh, this could be bad. Okay, that I meant was a lot of damage. I believe my young friend here has Tirahan. Right, uh, Agidine? Just use regular last words. Probably finish him off soon. Okay, here we go again. Dirahan. Agidine. Last word. He's this guy. Mind charge. Oh dear. Oh, here we go again. Sunday. I'm the one who's strong again. Okay, whatever. Agidine. There we go. We beat it. So that's the second of the optional bosses defeated. Finally, Gale learned Media Rahan. That was what I wanted to learn. That's going to be very crucial. Get the White Orb. Well, that's that fight out of the way. I'll see you guys for the third boss in a minute. Alright, here we are for the third of the optional bosses. We are in the Citadel of the Solids. I have actually, to get here... Do I have to go... Go the wrong way there. Hang on. I'm trying to find... Where the hell am I going? Oh, this is awkward. Basically, you go down... Uh... You, you teleport to Citadel 1 from the entrance. They go northwest to these stairs, and it's this room to the top here at the bottom end of the area. I've set my skills. Let's do it. This was a bit weird. Oh dear. Harley has got multiple personalities that keep arguing. Well, it's very really makes sense. It's got two heads. Right then. So, think about this fight. Physical attacks are worthless against it. Seriously, they are not worth it at all. We're going to start by doing a bit of business and also you might notice I've given last word again to Argella it's very useful in this fight uh yeah no. wow you're using like the defaults you're like terror that's completely not worth it! Mind charge! Last word! 
Ah, Terra, okay. Terra again, you really should use something a bit better than that, to be honest. Uh, also, I have got Buff and Debuff equipped, but the thing about this boss, he kind of just keeps screwing you over with that. You'll practically remove them straight away, so it's not worth using them. I've only got them equipped for now, just in case. That was lucky. I chose ice so we can get better damage done. Because we, like, so if we freeze them, we get a lot more um, damage onto it. Right, here is the issue. Flipping Magic Repel. Right. Because of that, fighting him now is hard. What you want to do is equip Earth Repel. You'll see why in a minute. Also, Last Word really helps because Last Word doesn't count as magic. He's going to use Magic Repel every turn. But when he hits the shield, haha, you hit the flipping power. You hit your own shield. Now he's going to keep using that over and over again. It's going to be a bit irritating with this, but I have set it up so his shield keeps getting wrecked. Do a bit more damage. Use a repel again. Mind charge with Argilla. Yeah, you see this here? This is how stupid this boss is. Well, there goes your shield again. You don't seem to be doing too well. Oh, yes, but I'm going to use Earth Repel here. Go for it. Good damage. Mind charge. And reflect right on top of you. Yeah, this is, this is how stupid this boss is. Uh, wow. These two are idiots. Sorry, but you got... Uh, wait, 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 wait. What are you doing? What are you doing? You're doing another magic repel. Again. And, oh. Oh, my flare. Ha. Huh. Okay. If you do a repel, very useful. Need you a hard. Then... Mind charge. Right, so now he's going to update using it with using rage on his first turn. Okay. That's not a bright move, I'm sorry. Now he's screwed. Oh, good, he's weakened. He actually might have a chance now. Wait, what am I saying? We've had a chance this entire fight. Because I knew what I was up against beforehand. So it really helped because this guy is ridiculous. And he's stupidly doing it again. 
Yeah, this is basically your best bet to take on this guy. Otherwise, this fight just gets ridiculous. Which is last word by itself. Alright, you really are getting stupid now. He's buffing his magic up no end, and to be quite frank, um, I'm gonna be truthful, if he actually gets through one of those spells, we're gonna have a problem. Last word. Because his magic's pretty much buffed up. So if that, if he actually, if he actually manages to do it, we're dead. But I've got this barrier to save me every flipping time. There we go. Third boss beat. He leveled up, I'm not worried about him at all. So yeah. We now have the Copper Orb. So we now have beaten the third one. There's one last one to take on. So I'll see you for that last one very okay, soon. Okay, guys. One more to go. We are in the Brute Space. I activated the red um, symbol in the middle. Then went to the northeast downstairs. Broke the yellow wall. The boss is in here. Okay, this guy's gonna be very whacked. Oh, here we go. This one's gonna be very interesting, actually. Here we go. Okay, this guy. First off, we we'll give him a piece of his mind with stability. No, he can't, in a way, he doesn't have the and Antikunda, but he can raise his magic and his attack, but he can't increase, but he can't increase his, um, flipping a... Defense or his um, accuracy. So, in other words, his defense and accuracy, he won't be able to de get back. And I've already screwed him over because I've got ice cream from it. Yeah, I thought he used that. He uses a lot of ice magic. Here we go. His defense is pretty much minimal. And I am using Argydine now instead of a uh, last word, because look how much damage it does compared. Okay, now he's going to use two of these, and next turn he's going to do a physical attack. Well, unfortunately for him, Not gonna do much for me because I got his drain. See what I mean? This is how stupid this boss is. He takes an entire turn to charge himself up, allowing you to anticipate what his attack is going to be. So yes, he's going to do a physical attack this turn. I already know this. This drain. Oh, this boss fight's a joke. You know, I just use Archidine, don't bother charging. You can beat him next turn anyway. What the? Okay, he's been a bit of a slippery, silly guy now. Well, in that case, goodbye. 
So yeah, phew. We have managed to defeat all four bosses. Took a bit of a while, but we did it. Just got our levels up. That was good. We have managed to get the Azure Orb. Let me just see what's in here. Soma, okay. Now, let us go. Now, here's the thing about this. Now that we have managed to defeat all four guardians, we can go and fight their leader. I'm going to tell you this right now, all of you. I am not fighting the leader in this Let's Play. Because he is so flipping ridiculously over the top. The grind required to fight him is beyond stupid. I am not wasting weeks of grinding to get all the skills I need to take this guy on. It's just not worth it. And the award you get, in my opinion, is not worth it. So instead, we've taken on the four guardians. We're going to leave their leader. But there is one other guy that we can fight in this game. There is one final thing we can do before we go and finish the game off. Do you remember the red ring we picked up from a dead woman's body? If you have that item and you, um, let me just check something a sec. If you have that item and you've defeated the four guardians, you can actually fight an optional boss here where we actually are in the brute space. So, that's all for this episode. I've split it all up so you have all four bosses in one video. Next time, we take on the other optional boss and we're going to leave the leader of these guardians behind because he's just too powerful for me to bother with. So, I'll see you guys for the other boss next episode. See you guys then.